folks, welcome to another one of my videos. Today you find me up in Lossy Mouth, way back in May 2024. Lossy Mouth at the beach down here at this beach. Beautiful, clean sands, coffee shops, ice cream shops, snack shops, and even a pub down at the front. Well worth a visit. It's a bonny place that's easy on the eye. And today was one of the, the rides I did prior to going away on my European tour to make sure that I could uh, handle the long rides again. And a long ride it was. It was, uh, I'd started in the morning and I didn't get home till probably about 7 o'clock at night. Total mileage for that day was quite a lot. It was uh, 275 miles. I'm riding the Honda NC750X on this occasion and it handled it with ease. So anyone that says just a commuter bike, they're way off the map. Heading down, going past the Lect and Glenshe Ski Centres. It was uh, over three and a half hours to get home. So that's me leaving the built-up areas of Lossy Mouth and we start to get on some fantastic roads. Now, everyone knows how many times, how many videos you see with folk doing the NC500 and they head up the notorious A9. Now, it's been shut many times this year because of car accidents uh, and it's not just been shut for an hour or two, it's been several hours. Uh, I was caught in one myself. So the motivation for this video is really to share this fantastic road. Now if you have a look at it, we're coming up to the Lek, the ski centre, and once we get over the brow of the hill you get some fantastic views. It's uh, stunning really, it's uh, a very imposing road, and you can see in May this was a very empty road. And I encourage folk to look at alternate routes from the A9. It might take you another half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour extra, but you're well rewarded. I talked about earlier on about motivation for making videos now. I've got a very small channel, but I'm in the east of Scotland, based in the east of Scotland, and most of the videos you see on internet, uh, on YouTube, are of the west, and I just think that we get as many nice roads, beautiful roads, fantastic roads, as anywhere in Scotland, and I want to advertise that and share that with the biking community. So I hope you enjoy this. So the next time you're heading up to Scotland to do the NC500, ask yourself this question. Do you prefer the A9 with all its traffic, its congestion, all the road closures that go on, or would you prefer to do this wonderful mountain roads that head across the Grampian Mountains? I'm absolutely blessed with the amount of fantastic driving roads there are in Scotland and around my area and most of my videos, an awful lot of the videos are, are actually of these roads and that's why, of course, I like to share them. I like to show you the roads that are less travelled and less shown you know, on the internet, particularly YouTube. One of the things I'd like to mention is that I've made up playlists for the various bikes. So I have one for the NC750X, I have one for the Honda NT1100 and I have one for the Royal Enfield Classic 350. And they're a collection of rides, some like this, some in the urban context, of me running about and enjoying life on my motorbikes. So once again I'd just like to thank everyone for watching the videos, who likes, comments and subscribes. had nearly four hours worth of video from this ride home and I can tell you it was really difficult to try and pick out the best parts to share with you. There are so many bits of this road and they were all a bit like this. Uh, very light on traffic, very easy going. Occasionally of course you did come across some traffic. And of course the obligatory motorhome or two down the road but we soon get past it.
I use PowerDirector to edit my videos and there's a YouTube channel I like to mention that, that really goes a long way to help me out because I'm too lazy to go and find out myself but he's really good. It's Jim and it's called PowerDirector Workshop. Uh, if you use PowerDirector then nip across, there's a link down below. Well worth the view. This is us arriving within Braemar. We pass through this little village. It's, it's well known. It's pretty iconic for various reasons. This place on the right hand side in the summertime is usually filled with motorbikes and, and the like. This then road then takes us to Glen Sheehan. What a great road now. It's another iconic road in Scotland and it's been well videoed. But uh, you're going to get to see it again. They're doing a bit of work on the bridge. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether they're reinforcing it or whatever they're doing. But uh, there's a temporary structure, or was back in May, to get through. But once you get through the roadworks, the road's absolutely clear. Okay, let's enjoy this. The lighting was particularly good this time. This road can get particularly busy in, in the summer time, but as you can see, it's more or less to myself. And that's us going through the Guenxi Ski Centre Resort. Usually very busy, but nice and quiet today. More traffic views as you go down. It's decline down into the valley. This was my last stop of the day, just stopped to stretch the legs after being on the bike for so long. Just having a look around at the beautiful landscape. And once again, you see there's no traffic. Okay, enjoy the last 60 seconds or so. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>